I had to make a decision. It was either stay or grab a hold of this crazy idea that you just can't seem to get out of your head and just go for it. And I decided to go for it. My name is Ailea Oning. I'm a producer of photography at a local agency in Columbus, Ohio. This is my home, and I live in a van. Ailea has been living in her van since May 2017. I named her Marta. Some people think it's really cool. They just want to hear more, and a lot of people respond by saying, oh, that's amazing, but I can never do anything like that. There have been some people who just don't get it, and they think it's really weird and strange, and they, they just think I'm an oddball. <laughs> Living in a van might seem controversial, but before that, Ailea lived in her car for a year. I would say back when I did the year in the car, the first maybe three nights I was a little nervous but I think that was just because I didn't know what to expect and there is this stigma out there that you know because I'm a woman I was extra vulnerable I tend to only park in neighborhoods or places that I am comfortable with and that I already feel safe in I mean I guess that's a luxury of your home being on wheels you can move it if you don't feel safe initially I was actually looking to buy a home I was renting and I was renting at a really high rate just because of the current state of economics and what millennials are up against. I, I didn't have the ability to build capital or, or a down payment to purchase a home very quickly. So I started researching tiny homes and then that led to researching minimalism and I realized, oh, I can save a whole lot of money. And oh hey, I have $42,000 in student loan debt and I could probably eradicate that in a year, which I did. So continuing the build out, uh, eventually we're gonna be building a closet here, floor to ceiling. Uh, there'll be room for hanging clothes and then a few drawers for folded clothes as well. The really exciting part is next to that is going to be a full shower and toilet. So we will have running water in here. There will be hot water and cold water. We'll have a fresh water tank inside that's gonna be underneath the kitchen cabinets. And then we'll have to do plumbing that will come up across the top of the van over into the shower area here. I drastically underestimated how much time and energy goes into something like this. I thought it would take three months. So far, it's taken seven months, so like maybe another year, a little less hopefully, to finish her. I bought the van for about 10 grand. I would say thus far, I've spent about seven grand on the build out. There have been a couple repairs that were probably about two grand. And then to finish the build out, I would say I'm gonna have to spend maybe another three or four grand. The beginning of this project, it was still just me, still just me and my dog. Now it's me, Brian, my dog and his cat. So one of my concerns when we started dating is he owned a house in a suburb, which is very different than the lifestyle that I was headed towards. I thought that I wanted to live in a van and I wanted to do more mobile living. I think I dismissed it at first. I mean, she's, she's a very outgoing girl, very busy, always has something going on. I knew it was something she had interest in. I think I got a text at work one day that said, hey, I'm flying down to Florida to pick up a van. And I'm just like, wow, really? Okay, so this is happening. But once she got it back and slowly started including me in the build, I took a bigger interest in it. So now it's more or less gone from her dream to becoming kind of our dream. I, I think it's been good for our relationship. It's proven that in our relationship we're great at teamwork, also in great partners. I don't know that I ever see myself going back to traditional housing. I just think that there's a better way to do housing in general. 
I don't, I don't need a house. I don't need something that big. I don't need a mortgage that eats up most of my, you know, monthly income. There are plenty of people who do. Minimalism is about living just off of what you need. So a family of six needs more than a van. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think that's the motivation for me. I realized a lot of things that came along with having an apartment or owning a home that I just didn't have to deal with anymore that gave me more time to spend it where I wanted to spend it. The worst things about living in a van? I don't know that there are any worse things. <laughs>